Well, hello there. I just thought I'd start doing these because a lot of people have been asking me to just document stuff that I've been doing, and uh, I decided what better way than to you know dive in and do a vlog and just see how it goes. So we are currently in London. Today is what is the date today? Today is the twenty first of December, two thousand and twenty one. <laughs> um, if you're seeing this in the future, Omicron is currently spreading like wildfire. Um, I have gotten my booster, so at least thankfully I have that. And uh, other than that, uh, London has become a ghost town because of the rising cases, which means uh, it's safe enough to just walk around here and there um, and uh, just take some pictures and whatnot. So. I think I'm just gonna go head out today, all safe and covered, just to get some air and see some stuff. I need to return some stuff as well. Um, so hopefully we can do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I also got something in the mail today, which I think uh, is very interesting. So let's have a look at that. Okay, let's see. Uh, the room's obviously a mess uh, right now, middle of the week, but uh, we'll get that done soon. If you know what this logo is, you probably know who this designer is, but if you don't, this is a designer called Movalola, and uh, she's based in London, she's a Nigerian uh, who's based in London, and she's a fashion designer, and I also think she's a musician as well, but I could be wrong, uh, and uh, she's just sort of got into the limelight because she's in charge of the Yeezy Gap Line. So she's on the Yeezy Gap Line team, and uh, I recently just saw that she was having uh, a pop-up uh, in Brick Lane and but by the time I sort of figured out that she had a pop-up it was almost ending and I think the pop-up was ending at about 6 p.m. in the evening and I must have reached at about 5.55 um, but by then you know everything was uh, shut. So yeah let's uh, get into this and see what, what, what we have. Um, let's have a look. Hey, nice. I love how that is a sticker. If, if that would have been screen printed, that would have been mad. Um, but yeah, let's see. Ah, I'm, I'm, yes. Yeah, eh? It's the Movalola cap in red. I love the packaging. Um, obviously, it's plastic, but I love that there's Movalola and just, just this print everywhere. So that's nice. And uh, yeah. It's the trucker hat. I have only recently gotten into hats. So when I saw this, I really liked the color and I really liked how everything looked and I just, the price was really good as well. So I thought I'd just pick that up. Um, and yeah, how does that look? Mm. Not bad, eh? I don't know. I'm gonna probably see the footage back and realize if it looks good or not right now. But I'll probably see myself in the mirror and see how it looks. Hey, you know what? I like how that looks. <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing that I just got recently. Uh, that just showed up in the mail today. Um, here's some other stuff that I also picked up recently. So thanks to Offspring, uh, I recently got my hands on these. Uh, these are the piece uh, Minnesota G Dragon Kondo ones, and I think this is amazing because it's like Nike's and obviously G Dragon's take on a di or it's rather a different take on the Air Force One, and I absolutely love how this collaboration has come about. I love what they've done here with the tongue. Uh, it's like you have this extra tongue out here, but obviously there's the normal tongue, the Nike tongue inside. Obviously, it's much more uh, heavier than a normal Nike Air Force One or to be honest, almost any Nike shoe for that matter. Uh, I love the stitching details and the lining, like especially like the lining things that have been done here. I think those are amazing. Uh, that's something I haven't seen. And obviously, it's like Nike's take on an Oxford shoe, you know, along with uh, G-Dragon, obviously, which I think is absolutely insane and I think this is going to look great with like just 
formal outfits and even like some interesting stuff and I also feel like overall the QC on this pair is incredible um, and I haven't seen that and one thing I also really liked was the tab here that you usually have um, inside of the shoe so this tab here is like a tab you'd get on a t-shirt or a you know any piece of clothing essentially so the tab is also different and also the bottom has like the flowers and the there's a flower at the back uh, and this is going to be fun to wear I'm gonna see I'm gonna have to figure out what I can wear with this but uh, yeah it's gonna be quite interesting so another thing that I was able to find like this was like an insane find was these like Rolex hand gloves that you know the employees at Rolex wear and I found this at like a really cool thrift shop in uh, Brick Lane and it was almost like close to free. These were like an amazing find. I can't wait to like wear these and style these with different things. So what I'm going to do now is actually get ready because there isn't much time before sunlight runs out. Forget sunlight, just light of any kind. Uh, because usually the sunset is at about 3.30, 3.45 in London nowadays. And when the sunset happens, it goes from like there being light to... Uh, it being absolutely pitch black dark like it's 10 30 p.m. in the night so uh, I've been planning to you know click some pictures today come up with an outfit uh, do that and then you know just roam around so let's do that yo what the fuck is this? so we're outside obviously my glasses are fogging up because of the mask but that's just normal we're used to that uh, just clicked a couple of fit pictures over there in that corner and uh, hopefully they turn out well you know this is sort of what I'm wearing so I decided to go with this overcoat with the hidden tee just like some bottoms and uh, this the Telfar bag the Vandy socks and my piece minisons so yeah now we're gonna go to the post office because we need to send out secret Santa gifts. <laughs> so just drop the stuff off at the post office. My secret Santas are going to be happy. Uh, hopefully it reaches in time. It says five to seven days, but you know Christmas and New Year, you never know. But I think my Christmas secret Santas are really going to like what I've sent them. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna head back inside because the shorts were great for the fit but it is cold ooh Lambo so yeah I'm gonna go inside and change into something more comfortable and let's see if we head out of that now but yeah this is a fun little excursion took a little pictures yeah yo we're back in the room and uh, it's still light out for now but it's about getting close to about 3.30 in the afternoon and uh, it's gonna get dark very soon as you can see some of the lights have already turned on in the buildings I'm not sure if you can see that way <laughs> can you see that? no, wrong way, other way yeah, hopefully you can see the lights have been turned on in you know, some of the windows so that means it's gonna get dark really soon <laughs> and uh, this is what happens this is winter in England it gets pitch black dark by 3.30, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. But there's its own beautiful side to it. So we'll check that out. Quick change, just hopped into a hoodie, jeans, boots. I might wear like a jacket on top of the hoodie depending on how cold it is outside, but this hoodie by seven stores is just amazing. Um, and it's warm AF. So let's just see, uh, and let's head out. Just focus, focus, focus. Yeah. <laughs> quickly double back because I just went to get coffee from my favorite place that's just around the corner uh, and they were just about closing and the lady is there is really nice and you know it's always a good chat whenever I go get coffee and she decided to give me like this really like <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this but 
is really high in milk <laughs> that I can use and I was going to get milk uh, but now I have milk and it's like a Merry Christmas gift I don't know I don't know how to react but it's so cute <laughs> but yeah this is the place this small little triangle type thing that's Chris Pitt. that's where I get my coffee from and they're amazing people they have like really nice wines as well and they have like wine nights and prepared like menus and set deals and whatnot. So if you're around London and if you want some cute place to eat around Liverpool Street or get good cappuccino, this is the place. As soon as you step out of Spirit Fields, it's like this small like shopping section. You get all Saints over here. Got the Offspring store, obviously, which I tend to visit quite a lot. You also have an office store. So it's like, you know, a good amount of stuff. And there's also that amazing vintage store over there. And I've found like absolute gems. This is where I got the Rolex gloves. Uh, and they just have like branded and non-branded stuff and it's amazing. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go in, check it out, and move forward. So yeah, that was that. Just a short trip outside. I thought I'd just show you guys around. Um, I went to the vintage store. You know, it was really nice. It was like two floors up and down. Uh, checked some stuff out. Uh, it was definitely interesting. I've, uh, I had a couple of pieces. Some of them were really good, but they were not in my size, which was quite sad. But some of the leather jackets and the puffer jackets were really, really good. Um, then I went into Offspring, just had a look. There was nothing really there, but like... Uh, if uh, women are looking to buy Dunks and other, you know, Jordans or anything, Offspring has a lot of them, so you can definitely check it out. And yeah, just on my way back, just got a small thing for a friend, and I got myself some pasta, which I had, which is really nice. And uh, that's about it. That's most of what I could have done outside without like being super exposed. That's sort of what I tried to do. And I tried to film more in Spindle Fields, but I wasn't able to uh, because basically like a lot of people started coming up like who owned the stalls and they were like, oh, you can't really shoot here. So yeah, that's just one small, uh, you know, section of stuff nearby. And uh, hopefully when things open up soon, uh, I'll be able to, you know, show you guys more of what I get up to in the city because there's just so much more stuff to do, but obviously you can't do that right now. Uh, and probably be safe and ensure that I ride this wave out safe and sound uh, and then we can get back to life again, you know. Uh, but yeah, until then, uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, YouTube tells me to do this. I don't really like doing this, but I, if you liked the video and if you liked me trying to do this, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff. Um, I'm obviously, you know, working on a lot more music content now that I have time off uh, in the holidays. So there'll be a lot of uh, different cover videos, uh, original content videos, guitar videos as well, now that I have a guitar. Um, and more fashion based videos as well, like kind of things I picked up, like you saw earlier in the video, you know, maybe a rundown on the best music of the year, best sneakers of the year, best pieces of the year, stuff like that. And then hopefully, you know, do similar stuff in the next year. So I hope all of you are safe. I hope all of you are having a wonderful time during uh, this holiday season in whichever way you can. 
and I will see you guys very soon. Boy, that's a fox one, and that is how a fox sounds. If anyone's wondering, anyone has ever wondered how a fox sounds? <laughs>